Hello everyone, this is Geetanjali from Maharani Science College for Women, Bengaluru. The topic is Silotum, Morphology and Anatomy. Silotum belongs to division Silophyta, class Silotopsida, order Silotales and family Silotaceae. Let us know about the introduction. Silotum is one of the primitive pteridophytes included in the order Silotales. It is represented by only two species namely Silotum nodum and Silotum flaccidum. Silotum is commonly called bisque fern. Silotum nudum is an erect plant which occurs in tropical and subtropical regions of the world. It grows in the crevices of rocks and on soils. Silotum flaccidum is a pendulous epiphyte growing on trees. Silotum plants are grown as ornamental plants. Let us know about the morphology of silotum. The plant body is a diploid sporophyte. It consists of underground, horizontally growing rhizome and aerial erect shoots. The rhizome is cylindrical, prostrate and dichotomously branched and brownish in color. The rhizome bears small numerous rhizoids but no roots. Some branches of rhizome grow as erect shoots. These aerial shoots are ribbed, multi-angular, dichotomously branched and deep green in color. All over the aerial shoots, small leaf-like appendages or scales are present. There are two types of leaves, sterile and fertile leaves. Sterile scale leaves are present all along the length of the aerial shoots, whereas fertile scale leaves are restricted only to the upper portion which bears synangia in their axils. Then we'll move on to anatomy of xylotum. First we'll know about the anatomy of xylotum rhizome. The TS of rhizome is differentiated into epidermis, cortex and steel. Epidermis, it is the outermost single layer of cutinized cells. Cortex, the cortex is again differentiated into three regions, outer, middle and inner cortex. Outer cortex consists of parenchymatous cells with mycorrhizal fungal association. The middle cortex consists of parenchyma cells with starch grains. The inner cortex uh, consists of parenchyma cells with oxidized products of tannins called phlobophene which imparts brown color to the rhizome. Endodermis consists of parenchyma cells with Casparian strips on their radial walls. Pericycle is single layered and steel is protostelic which consists of central core of xylem surrounded by phloem. Pith is absent here. Now let us know about the anatomy of xylotum stem. The TS of xylotum stem is differentiated into three regions, namely epidermis, cortex and steel. Epidermis, it is the outermost single layer of cells covered over by thick cuticle, some stomata are present. Cortex is differentiated into three zones, outer chloranchymatous, middle sclerenchymatous and inner parenchymatous. Endodermis consists of parenchyma cells with Casparian strips. Pericycle is absent. Steel is actinostelic protosteel. Sclerenchymatous pith is present. Xylem is exarch in nature. Protoxylem consists of annular tracheids. Sometimes spiral tracheids may be present. So let us know about the summary of this session. Xylotum is a primitive pteridophyte. Is the simple sporophytic plant body. Roots are absent. The leaves as small scale ap appendages. Rhizome. It is protostelic in condition. Then aerial axis shows actinostelic protostele.